I'll be on this bitch trip with some time, bro. I'm saying, let's get it though, bro. Let's check it out. Let's okay, go. Okay, I'm man. gonna hit play. <clears throat> let's see what's going on, man. Yeah. Hold on, I ain't even gonna get on intro for the YouTube. YouTube, what's going on? What's up, y'all niggas, man? Now, look, we about to be checking out um cops from around the world react to U.S. policing, bro. You know what I'm saying? The U.S. First thing first, don't his head look stupid, stupid big, like stupid strong, stupid like, bro. Side note, bro. Don't judge this man because one day this might be you, bro. Like I was looking at the podcast yesterday and it was like older black men that had a baldy, and I seen pictures when they was young and. They ain't look like they was gonna be bald when they was older. He has a bald ass, spit, shiny head, bro. Like, that can be you one day, man. All seriousness, bro. Like, be ready for that, man. Make sure you look good whenever you get your body, though, man. But anyway, I was saying, though, I'm about to check out cops from around the world react to U.S. policing, man. Also, try to find you a woman before you get bald, just in, just in case you look ugly, so that they really love you for who you are. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go bald and you look hideous, it's going to be hard out here for you. Unless you just, because you don't want to half fish nobody. You talk to a girl with your hat on, take your hat off, and there's nothing there. Like, that's worse than makeup or catfishing. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's check out. That's going to be me. <laughs> Hell nah. That, hey, nah, nah, nah. But I ain't going to lie. I think me personally, if I go bald, I think I would look straight for real, bro. I was I was thinking about that the other day. Like, I might go, bro. If I had this coming in, I would have a bald head, bro. If I had, like, all this, you know what I'm saying? I might get a baldy, but let's check out this video, man. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Niggas might just go bald, It's the bro. first moment when we can clearly see that Floyd is face. Oh, yeah, so this one of them type videos. Damn. It just, this, this right here just changed the whole tone of the, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I said it again. That's crazy. Common, you really just, like, sparked the light over my head. I didn't realize I said it that much. I said that a lot. That's crazy. He's down. I need to put, like, a, you know what I'm saying, counter right here. Every time I say, like, a ding go off or something, bro. On the ground. With three officers applying <clears throat> pressure to his My dad boss, so I might I might just have legs. it, man. What up, Blurry Mike? That's a murder. Man. It says U.S. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This gonna be a long video. If you if you ain't, you ain't here for the long run, you might wanna get up out of here. This gonna be a long video. This says U.S. police kill more civilians than the police of any other wealthy country, bruh. And they kill people that look like me and niggas that look like you. If you poly, they look like you. You y'all you, out here dying too. If y'all was over here, y'all would be getting knee on your neck too, bro. If you white, they killing y'all too. Don't think you safe because you Caucasian, but they killing y'all niggas too. I seen it in a video. It was a dude at the hotel. He was on his knees. He was literally scared to death, bro. It went viral. Everybody probably seen it. He was on his knees and they was like, crawl to me. Th these niggas be trigger happy, bro. They be like, they be thinking it's Call of Duty or something. They be so thirsty to just, bro. It, he, he was like, crawl to me, crawl to me. And then the dude was like, he was like, put your hand in the hiss. He was like this, right? He was in like a yoga position down there. He, he was on his knees and his hands was out. He was like, put your hands up. And then he put his hands up. He was like, he told him some like direction that was confusing. He did the wrong thing and then shot him, bro. He clearly had no weapon on him. He was literally shorts and a shirt. You know what I'm saying? And then a dude, the, the footage ended because it said it was a, he shot him. And then he shot the dude and he died, bro. It was crazy. Might, I'm, I'm going to show you that after this video, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's sad as hell, bro. It's sad as hell, bro. Uh, we seen that together? I am speechless, if I'm honest. Whoa! I need to move, bro. I love her here at the top left and the bottom right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, bro, women just be beautiful, bro. I just love women, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's so quick. I'm so quick. Let me just, let me just get some attention to this real quick. I love this hair right here. Beautiful hair, bro. This is like the beautiful, most natural. You know what I'm saying? This is that a wig? Is that real hair, y'all, or not? Nah? Can y'all tell? I think that's really like it might be in her genetics. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful hair, bro. Just love, you know what I'm saying? Love her hair, bro. Yeah, it's absolutely unacceptable. Love her hair, too, man. Love the red lipstick, too. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm... Let me get back on the topic, though, man. Hours of training required in the United States versus the job this for be good, a bro. barber. 1,300 hours. It's 3,500 hours for being a plumber. I would hope that police officers are getting a little more than what a barber gets. And maybe towards where the lawyer is. Bro, imagine Whoa. that, bro. Bro, imagine that, bro. A police officer gets, they get less than half of what a barber has to do. 
And you got to think, who put these things into play? I was listening to a podcast earlier today. He was, man, these niggas, was, this was a very intellectual conversation, bro. If y'all want to watch it, type in 19 Keys and Y'all Key Podcast, bro. You know what I'm saying? Very, Y'all Key Awakened, man. But look, it was this dude, he was saying, like, everybody's slaves now, bro. Like, he said it's different levels. Like, it's different. Um, I forgot the word he used, but it's different, like, levels to slavery and whatnot. And just because, and people compare it to today's slavery compared to, like, the worst form of slavery ever, which is, like, back then. But that don't, we are slaves today, though. You know what I'm saying? We The change is concealed, like, you know what I'm saying? Our thoughts and shit, it's, it's in our brain. But we still slaves. My fault, not we. Well, yeah, we as a people, at least in this country, it's still slaves, bro. And they don't even know that they slaves, bro. That's the worst type of slave you can be, bro. <laughs> Oh, I was saying that to say that. So it's little things in place like that that people just don't think about, bro. Like these police officers, they damn near working less than niggas at McDonald's, bro. McDonald's, you damn near got it, bro. And the military, you probably got to go through more hours than they do. How how long is 600 hours, bro? How long is that? How long is 600 hours, bro? Because that's crazy. 140, Sam. In Germany, I trained three years. We have practical and theoretical training. In Northern Ireland, we're not just taught the legal side, we're taught how to use and think on our feet as well. And it's those skills that make you a better police officer. It also doesn't help that America's policing system is fragmented to the point of farce, with around 18,000 different forces. 18,000. 18,000 sets of rules, policies, regulations. One thing I can say that I like about it was this nigga I was working with. He was fat, bro, like a fat, bro. Niggas in the military is fat. That's like embarrassing, bro. Everybody in the Navy is fat as hell over here, bro. No lies. All these Navy dudes over here is like, they like this. Ask anybody in the military. The Navy guys are fat, bro. Like, don't get your Navy boyfriend if you come over here. They fat. But anyway, bro, it was a dude in, you know what I'm saying, Marine Corps. He was trying to go LAPD when he got out. And they was like, and he thought he was going to he was gonna get accepted, but he didn't get accepted because he was overweight. He was fat. I'm saying so that's good. That's glad to hear. I'm saying one less, one less police officer. Y'all niggas gotta be in somewhat shape. Since an 18,000 levels of accountability. Here in Canada, we have 141. In the UK, we have got 43. In Italy, there's basically only two. We have 17. I will never complain about that anymore since there is Wait, a country that what? has 18,000. 18,000. I didn't even listen. Damn, my bad. I think it's like deaths or something, right? The Warrior Mindset, Kentucky State Police Academy. Gee. Don't that just look racist, bro? Don't it just look racist, bro? The very first essential for success is a perpetually constant and regular employment of violence. Oh, there's the word again. That's, violence. that's, Perpetu that's, oh, my fault. Wait, that's in the, that's in the, like, police little handbook? It says Adolf Hitler wrote that. Perpetually constant and regular employment of violence. Oh, there's the word again, violence. I don't like that word. Who said that? Oh my god, it's Hitler. Wait, is that in the- hold on bro, hold on, hold on, cause look. Watch this. The Warrior Mindset, Kentucky State Police Academy. Gee. This training document was used by Kentucky- wow bro. Watch this, watch first this. essential for success is a perpetually constant- Now watch this, remember that right? Now watch this bro, watch this, watch this. Now watch, watch this shit bro. Let me show y'all something. Go to my TikTok real quick bro. Let me show y'all something real quick, bro. Cause niggas, niggas, niggas thought I was crazy, right? Watch this, bro. Hold on. Not that. Watch this. Y'all gotta start looking up it, bro. Was Hitler really bad? Bro, I've been saying. Fuck, it's muted. Hold on. Y'all can't hear it? Right, I'm, I'm just playing through here. Watch this, bro. Watch. Y'all gotta start looking up it, bro. Was Hitler really bad? Bro, I've been saying shit like this. I swear to God, like, whenever you... And then whenever you think that way, bro, you say things that if anybody... You know what I'm saying? They can't think outside the box was to hear you say. You would sound crazy as hell. You don't make sense. Nobody can fathom that, bro. I've been, and that specific what he said, I've been like saying that. Like, now bro, watch, what now if, watch like, this, these watch. people that they portraying is bad really wasn't watch. bad. Now watch it's this. It's just propaganda to make them look bad for they had a whole different motive. Now watch this, right? Now this one, now, now I, showed you, I showed you to say this. 
they clearly idolizing some of the shit that Hitler says, bro. My thing is, Hitler was clearly bad as fuck, right? But what it, bro, say Hitler just didn't cooperate with the U.S. for some reason. And the U.S. knew what he was doing, but they was going to let it slide only if he did this one, like, little thing for him. But since he didn't do this shit, now they want to teach us that he's a bad person. Like, they probably would have let that nigga go under the rug, bro. That's, that's my point. You know what I'm saying? They would have let him go under the rug and not tell us about him and just let him do him. But because now they got a problem because of this shit over here, now they want to, you know what I'm saying, put his skeletons out the closet and, like, tell a whole, you know what I'm saying, teach us about it years later and stuff like that, bro. They got his word literally in this fucking, bro. They be lying to us about everything over here, bro. Like, I'm about to move for real, bro, because they be lying to us about everything, man. Nigga, literally today, I ain't even going to get that. That's too deep, bro. I ain't, ain't going to get too deep on here, bro. Like I said, it's going to be a long video, bro. Posted in regular employment of violence. Man, listen, I'm, I'm going to say it anyway, bro. Look, today, that's what I'm saying. They lying about everything, bro. This free game right here, man. Look, if you look at fruit, right? Look, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you. Watch this. The word again, violence. I don't like that word. You, who said that? Oh my god, it's Hitler. His quote is actually part of the slide that they're using. Watch this, right? Is that right? Yeah, now watch this. Bro. I don't like to say that that name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch now. Look, if you look at fruit, right? If you look at the PO, if now look, if you if you look at the PO, you on here? What this say, bro? Read them numbers. What the numbers say? Hold on. Y'all see? 4053, right? 4053. This is not organic, bro. They lying. They be lying about these organic labels. Only ones that are organic will start with a number nine, bro. You know what I'm saying? These niggas out here, they lying about everything, bro, from top to bottom, bro. I'm telling you, bro, you can't trust nothing out here, man. Shit is crazy out here. I, I'm speechless, if I'm honest. There's been silly people that don't like the use of that word warrior. Bulletproof mind workshops which claim to help prepare your mind. With law enforcement. Hey, is our cops or frontline troops in this war? Yeah. And they don't want to use the word warrior? Is he saying that police officers are at war with the community? The police well, officers are to these serve niggas, the bro. community. Sir, I have to tell you, I do have a okay. firearm on okay. me. Don't reach and look, now that I'm hearing, bro, look, bro, look at they, bro, look, now, now that I'm hearing, this side of how police officers are getting trained, I can see that getting implemented in a actions now, bro. You, he thinks he's a warrior, bro. He's not here to protect the people. He's here to execute his warrior-like mindset and tactics on his victims, bro. Look at his demeanor, his actions right here, bro. I can like see it now. They are brainwashed and they are crazy manipulated and they already got these morals within them and now they have this suit on to where they're protected to do this as a union together not all of them but most of them now they can happily and safely you know what i'm saying act upon these thoughts bro I'm, 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 don't, don't pull it out I'm, 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 don't pull it out I'm, 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 damn bro and you can hear him screaming he said don't pull it out I do have a okay. firearm okay. on me. He, he says he, the fact that he's telling you should tip, bro, this, I ain't gonna lie, low, low key, be about to get me mad, bro. No bullshit, bro. This video is about to, like, get me mad, bro, genuinely, because I've never seen this video about Philando Castile. I always heard about it. i never seen it, bro. And this type of stuff happened when I was young. Like, Trayvon Martin happened when I was, like, damn near 10 or, like, 9 years old. So, it, like, I heard about it, but it never, like, hit me, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga said he, he's telling you he has a weapon on him, bro, but you choose to fire anyway. And when he tells you he has a weapon, so clearly he's not trying to hurt you. What the fuck is wrong with these police, bro? What happened What happened to this police officer right here, bro? What happened to him? We need to start, like, hurting him, bro. Don't reach Bad. for it, man. I'm Don't pull it out. I'm look at him, bro. Look, before he even, okay. he already has his hand on his. Okay. Don't reach. Look, look at him. Eager to, bro. He already grabbing it for no reason. He said he says he has to pull it out. It's law. You have to put your firearm on the dashboard. You can hear that man screaming, bro. Listen to him. You can hear that man screaming, bro. 
he attended Bulletproof Warrior. Critics said survival of seminar forces paranoid mindset, but fire depends approach as balanced. Bro, All these police be scary as fuck, is bro. this scenario going the way that we've been trained that it could go? Guess which of the following images are U.S. soldiers in Iraq and which are police officers in American cities? Okay. All of them, oh are, my God, I think, bro. are soldiers. And I think number two and four are militaries. Oh! <laughs> ain't no, bro. It ain't no way. It ain't no way. It ain't no way. It ain't no way. I'm smiling, but I'm not smiling on the inside, bro. I promise you that. That's what this is who we up against for real. I thought for sure number two and three was military because they even got the green on. And number three has the trousers of the of the Marine Corps. His pants is camo. That's, 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 that's camis. He literally has camis on, bro. That's camouflage, bro. Number one has his... They don't... Weapon safety, number one safety rule, keep your fingers straight and off the trigger to ready to fire. That's weapon number one. Weapon safety rule number one. Number one and number four is both doing that. They had the weapon, you know what I'm saying? The finger is across the trigger because they're not ready to fire yet, right? Number two is doing it too. I thought for sure number two and three was military, bro. All of them is police. Look at number four in the eyes, bro. Look at number three. These, like, look, bro, look at them in their eyes, bro. What you think is going through their mind right now? I could tell number four. I'm just going to judge. He was the kid that was in the black. He was in the Call of Duty chat rooms getting bullied and shit, bro. He was in the Call of Duty chat rooms, squeaker, getting bullied. Now life done turned around for him. Now he a police officer and those same bullies, he has the he has the potential to do something bad to him, bro. Look, he thirsty. Like, they they taking this too serious. Who they think they going up against, bro? Y'all not, y'all niggas not going to war, bro. Y'all not going to war, bro. Look at number three. He too cocky with it. Like, who is it, bro? He 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 beyond. He's not trying to protect nobody, bro. It's not. They're not thinking about protecting nobody in their eyes, bro. I, this is crazy, bro. These type of niggas that will shoot you and just keep it moving, bro. This is crazy. And number two and three got no. What number? They all got Kevlar's on. This shit is just out of hand, bro. Ah, uh, military. That's crazy, bro. Oh! <laughs> They're all police. They're all police. Oh, That's shit. crazy. For several nights this week, this was Ferguson, Missouri. Tank. Policing is uh, very dangerous work, but police officers are not warriors. I police in Northern Ireland. Have done bro, them niggas is far from, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I hope a police officer, bro. I'll tell you for y'all niggas not no warriors, bro. Y'all niggas ain't no warriors, bro. Fuck y'all a warrior. Y'all did 600 hours, now you a warrior? You ain't no warrior, nigga. Fuck did you do to be a warrior, bro? Y'all niggas ain't no warriors, bro. I'm saying, y'all, bro, only, re bro, if this system in the U.S. was not backed off of just profit, y'all would not be having these powers that you have, bro. If the world was ran by human decency, y'all wouldn't, y'all niggas would not be in position. Y'all niggas ain't no warriors, bro. I would be the first to gladly tell you that, bro. I hope one of y'all niggas in this video is watching me right now, bro. And I will say this to your face. I promise you, I'm not one of those niggas that is only tough in my room. My phone, I don't like this in my room. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of nigga that's only gonna say stuff behind this camera, but not saying in person. Everything I say on here, I will say in person, bro. These niggas is, I can see it in they fucking like, bro. They are hoes for real, bro. They are hoes, bro. Any police officer that's going to shoot somebody that's telling them that they have a pistol on them, and you know damn well if you was a civilian, you would not move with that same confidence. I ain't going to lie. Let me tell you something, bro. So, being in the military, right, when you put your uniform on, you get a level of confidence, bro, because it's like you have this certain power. You know nothing's going to happen to you, bro. Like, when you on base and stuff, and you can see it in everybody, bro. Everybody, especially that had these higher ranks, they move like they are invincible because, for one, you on base. Nobody's going, no civilian's going to try nothing bad on base. 
and no person that's in the military is gonna mess up their career, do something bad to you. So you you move with this certain level of like invincible, you know what I'm saying? So and you and you had this you had his uniform on, so your personality outside the uniform is a whole different person. Now you in this fake alter ego type personality. These police officers are dealing with the same exact stuff, bro. I know they are. I know that they got. They think that they just when they when they stroll these they patrol these streets, they think they just like. They think they're Superman out here, bro. They look down on like civilians or something, bro. Like they just, you know what I'm saying, niggas need to, niggas need to get they. I hope these niggas face their karma in the afterlife or something, bro. But the ones that's, at least the ones that's bad. Warriors. I police in Northern Ireland have done for 21 years. I still to this day have to check under my car for a bomb being underneath my car. And even then I still do to this Hold day. Hold on, police patrol bomb attacks on police for second night. Second I have night. to check under my car for a bomb being underneath my car. That's crazy. And even then I still do not see myself as a warrior. I'm happy that our police officers have got the sense to be able to talk to members of the public and realize that they're servants of the public. Bro, who who can change this, bro? And who is going to change it? And who idea was it to tell these niggas that they have a warrior mentality, bro? This is brainwashing, bro. Now, do y'all understand why I always say that people in the military, at least a certain branch that I was in, is getting brainwashed too? I promise you, bro. They getting brainwashed in the Marines too, bro. But that's like, I understand that brainwashing because they might end up going to war and like dying or something, bro. You got to like, they, you got to brainwash us. You know what I'm saying? You have to because they are warriors, bro. Like people in the military are warriors, bro. No matter what service, what branch, whatever. I know everybody talks shit about each other. Female, man, y'all, bro, because you, you potentially, you put your life on the line, bro. It could happen to you. You know what I'm saying? These police always ain't no fucking warriors, bro. Y'all niggas signed up. Y'all niggas signed up and y'all saving cats. Y'all supposed to be saving niggas out of, you know what I'm saying? Cats out of trees and and and, and, and locking people up that's, that's selling illegal DVDs in front of stores and stuff. Y'all supposed to be doing stuff like that. Y'all ain't no fucking warriors, bro. I'm not an occupying force, bro. No Y'all are humans, but Cops are, accused of stealing over two hundred twenty thousand can't be sued thanks to wow, qualified bro. So immunity. All these things are put in What's place that? to protect the judges. Them, bro. Created qualified immunity to protect individual officers from liability. And what it's morphed into is almost absolute immunity for law enforcement. Bro, this literally sounds like. This sounds like. Imagine you live in a family. And you got two bigger brothers, and they make the decisions for the whole rest of the household. Of course, they're going to make decisions to keep them at the top of everything, bro. This sounds like they li they're they literally working. Like, bro, this is some bro, this, about, this is some bullshit, bro. It's really some bullshit, bro. Force notes. It's probably a dream comes true for officers that want to break the law. The same law that should apply to the members of the public should apply to the police officers as well. We have to take the same consequences. We have to have the same punishment. We have the Special Investigations Unit. We have the Office of the Independent Police Review Directorate. I used to be the chief of the police academy in Georgia, and also I used to be the chief of Ukrainian National Police. They were both very corrupted, and it was a huge legacy from the Soviet Union. In Georgia, just we disbanded entire traffic police. We fired 15 to 20,000 police officers. In Ukraine, it was the same. Reforms in the law enforcement system were so vital. You have accountability in front of the citizens. Research suggests that black people are about three times more likely to be killed by police than white people. So you agree that there may be systemic racism? And they don't agree that there's systemic racism in the police. Of course there is. Early in the 90s. And this the thing, bro, like, bro, niggas just died, bro, and then don't nothing happen for real, bro. Like, nothing ever happens, bro. Nothing, nothing ever happens. Nothing never gonna happen, like. People just keep moving, bro. Like niggas, you were not, you, were, you know, what I'm saying nothing really happens, bro. And then it's annoying when like other cultures, other races and stuff, something happened to them, and then things happen fast, bro. Like it was about two, three years ago, bro. Like something with the Asian community or something. Something happened with the police and the Asians, bro. And then the Asians, they they did the same thing. Like I think they they protested or something. And next thing you know, they got some type of law put in place. Like months later, this might not be the exact definite. Like this, like 
timeline on like you know what I'm saying details on his story but this is the concept of what happened though you know what I'm saying this ain't the exact details because I don't go too deep into these headlines and stuff and these but I know this for sure happened though you know what I'm saying because I'll be hearing these conversations I'm like a fly on the wall bro I swear to God I only talk so much when I'm on camera on YouTube bro other than that I'm a fly on the wall and everything else bro I'm always trying to learn so I'm addicted to learning bro that's why I got you know what I'm saying all these books over here and stuff, bro. But like, so they, so the Asian community, you know what I'm saying? They got like a law put in place like that, bro. You know what I'm saying to protect them, bro. To like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they was gonna be straight over here, niggas. You know what I'm saying? They don't do, they don't give you nothing, bro. They, they, they don't want to protect. They don't want to protect the niggas, bro. Like, they don't want to protect the niggas. In the UK, a young man called Stephen Lawrence was murdered. The government uh, commissioned an investigation. It concluded that there was systemic racism in the police service. The beginning of sol the solution is to acknowledge that it exists. Officers cuff Floyd's hands behind his back, and Koenig walks him to the restaurant wall. Hey, what's your name? It was quite, quite an passive, right? I mean, he was not aggressive at all. Floyd says he is claustrophobic and refuses to enter the police car. He tells them he can't breathe. I didn't realize that they I got him handcuffed and seat in a seated position. Well, leave him there and find out what his medical problems are. All four officers are now gathered around Floyd. Bro, they just, oh my God, bro. Bro, I ain't seen this video in a long time, bro. This is some bullshit, bro. And they just like, like they're really just thirsty to do it to him, bro. You could tell like they, it wasn't no reason to do this shit, bro. They had him in the car once. I don't understand why they ripped him out of the car. Why is that other officer telling him to get off his neck? One, two, three, big it guys. No I mean, that, it's like, of course, it's excessive use of force. The fact that not one of them have actually turned around and said, get off, get off his neck. It, it's almost that arrogance. Like, it was like, bro. Chauvin's kept his knee. I can see the arrogance in his, like, in his, in his knee stance, bro. I can... Bro, and it's it's frustrating because you just want to hurt them, but you can't, bro. Like you want to hurt these men, but you just can't, bro. You can't. It's like imagine somebody slapping you in the face, and you can't. Imagine somebody taking your daughter, bro. This is what this is what this feel like, bro. Watching this type of shit, bro. Imagine somebody take your daughter, walk up on the stage in front of the whole world, smack her. You know what I'm saying? And your daughter screaming, Ah, daddy, come help me, daddy. Da. She's screaming for you. And you can't do nothing, bro. You can't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing you can go and do. That's how that shit feel like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit frustrating. It's frustrating as hell, bro. And then imagine that happening, like, to, imagine you have a new kid, and then it happens again. And then a new kid, and then it happens again. You know what I'm saying? And then a new kid, and then it happens again. Like, that shit crazy, bro. And then he was literally yelling for his mom, bro. Like, Floyd. George Floyd was yelling for his mom, bro. Literally. For a total you know what I'm eight minutes and forty six seconds. That's a murder. That's I really do feel sorry for the police officers who were there and uh, want to do a good man, job. Then doing their job in very difficult circumstances and putting their lives at risk. But there is no rule of law with uh, with uh, corruption. There is no democracy with corruption. I identify myself with being a cop very much. I, I love my job. And when I see that other people um, wearing the same uniform as I do, killing people, I feel ashamed. Bro, that's, that shit is annoying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That is annoying as hell, bro. That's annoying as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, that was that was powerful, bro. You know what I'm saying? I knew that was gonna be a serious video, but I ain't think they was gonna show all them videos and all that, bro. Like, they literally killed Philando Castile for no reason, bro. For no reason. And it's like, damn, that could potentially be me, bro, and nobody gonna do nothing about it, bro. Like, that can be me. That could literally be me, like, next week or something, bro. That could be me tomorrow, bro. Like, they're going to look at me and not give a damn about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But honestly, I can personally say that me personally, every police officer I came across has been polite and respectful. You know what I'm saying? It's not really, it's not the, I'm not going to say it's not the average. It's not because I, I haven't done nothing to like get pulled over a lot, bro. I haven't, I ain't grew up like in the trenches and shit like that. I ain't grew up like, you know what I'm saying? Having too many altercations with the police. So everyone that I had always been respectful and they always kind of just treated me. You know what I'm saying? It's 
vice versa, bro. Kind of like they wanted to just get out the way. They wanted to just get my ticket and then just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Cause, but I'm speaking from a perspective that's not deep in the inner cities, though, bro. Like that's because I'm not in the inner city. So, but in the inner cities, they know they can get away with a lot more stuff because it's a lot more of us and it's a lot more acceptable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they, they, it's like. They can do certain things because nobody's looking. You know what I'm saying? Out here, they might be looking because it's not heard of. But over there, nobody's looking. And then it's like they're dealing with different type of niggas. So it's like the niggas not going to tell on them. They know, like, black, you know what I'm saying? Most niggas they doing this to probably going to keep this, like, street code to them to where they're not going to go to the police and get on no stand or something. So they know that, like, they playing by different rules and shit, bro. It's not fair out here, bro. But I ain't saying it's supposed to be fair, but goddamn, no. Like, these niggas ain't got no soul, bro. Like, they not, they ain't got no type of heart, bro. It's crazy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm uh, send you a link, uh, Northern Life. But, hey, I'm going though, man. YouTube, appreciate y'all for rocking with me, bro. Shout out to my live stream, man. That shit crazy. That shit tragic.